Ruby and Natalie to stop electrocuting dolls? They have to pay for their sins. Oh. You're also going to be here to take care of Carl. He needs you to show up for him at parents' night to discuss behavioral problems. <laughs> They sound like solutions, not problems. School disagrees. He's a boy. This is what boys do. When I was growing up, Joe Palazzo bit off a kid's finger. Oh, that's gotta be bullshit. Sister Ermelita picked up the nub and wrapped it in Kleenex. She always kept her snot rag stuffed in her sleeve. They're threatening to expel him. Well, go talk him out of it. They want a parent, a real parent. Oh, I guess you're off the hook then, Frank. <laughs> I have never been threatened by teachers, and I am not going to start now. I am fed up with these pan-gender hermaphrodites who hate that human beings are a species with two distinct genders. It's like they've declared war on testicles. They want to remove all the masculinity from the schools, fill the world with yogurt eaters. Well, do your research. We're all descendants of barbarians, and the sooner we face it, the sooner we'll have a civilization worth celebrating. So, hell no, I won't go. Because no one scares Frank Gallagher. I appreciate you seeing me. You're Carl's mother? Uh, no, sister. Legal guardian? Formally, no. Mr. Monroe. Where's that paper mache? Right here. The kids have been making paper mache sculptures about what they love about themselves. This is Carl's. What is that? That is a paper mache pile of shit. Wait, he has a very developed sense of humor. We're not laughing. Carl's future is speaking to us through art. A dark future, filled with what even to the untrained eye is a budding psychosis. I we need to speak to his father or his mother. Yeah, and it repeats like a little too fast to be like, what? But other than that, man, it's dope as hell. You gotta check it out. Okay, that's it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.